Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now to prove to you that I have a live Windows 8 in Arabic on my 8 gig flash drive, I'm going to prove to you that on this computer here, I'm going to turn on the power button. As you can see, this is an old gateway computer. See the power light just went on. It's connected to the screen here on the wall that this XP running on this machine, by the way. So I'll let the hard drive boot up and shut down. I'm just going to separate put the camera on the mouse. I'm just going to log in and I'm going to shut down this machine. And I'm going to boot up Windows 8 in Arabic after this. I don't have no sound on the computer right now. That's okay. Well, this is not about XP. Well, this is one of my creations of Windows XP Black Edition with the Grin Reaper. I just got to shut down right now. Okay. Just give me a second. That's my start, by the way. That big giant ass start. Okay. Now I'm going to just X out of this system altogether. I'm going to shut it down. And now I am going to stick this flash drive right here. This is a Hewitt. This is a Hewitt Packer. HP 8 gig flash drive right here with the live operating system. Now while that's shutting down, I am going to go over here. Okay, now the, it's shut down completely. Now, I go back down here, take this flash drive, stick it in this USB port on my gateway desktop right here. Now, hit the power button. Let me try to make this video as fast as possible. Now I'm going to hit on the keyboard here, F10. I hit F10. Now, camera back on now. I know it's going to pain in the ass, but I am going to select my flash drive right now. Here we go. USB hard drive. HP V 135 W 110. Now I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to actually boot up Windows 8 9200 RTM Windows 8 Pro but in Arabic. I don't speak Arabic but some people may think I'm measure known. No, I'm not crazy. Like I said, this operating system is more of a novelty, like, because it runs very slow. You need high RAM memory to run this. And this is just only an x86 version of the software from the other continuation of the video that I posted earlier on Facebook. Now, it's something like Linux, but it's not. It has actually a BART PE image. This is not, not to be mistaken as an installation flash drive. There was software in the past called UNET, I mean, Win, Win Flash, and stuff like that. NaviCorp, actually. Windows to Flash, and it showed you how to make a PE file, BART PE, by taking this DVD disk of an operating system, XP, Vista, Windows 7, and installed onto a flash drive for installation. But this is Windows AIK, Windows to Go, portable, portable tools.
uh, actually able to create this live version of Windows 8. It's slow as hell, but it does boot up. I didn't get all the kinks out of it yet, but whatever machine you put it on for the first time, it takes a while to configure its hardware. And the second time you boot it up, it runs a little bit better and smoother. You just got to be patient. It's not the fastest. It's not like you're running it on a, on a spinning hard disk with 7200 RPMs or anything like that. There you go. Windows 8 in Arabic. It's like a mirrored operating system. A mirror reflection of the actual Windows 8. The only thing that's not backward is the the wall the wallpaper with the two flowers. But actually the start screen, I mean the lock screen, is backwards on here. There you go. Windows 8 in Arabic. Read them and weep. Go to the desktop right here. There's the desktop. And you'll notice in a couple seconds, it's not activated yet. This is Windows 8 Pro Build 9200. There's the Internet Explorer right here. It's on the right side instead of the left side. And your wireless right here. I'm going to try to hook up to my network right now. Like I said, slow as shit. Like waiting a, a thousand years, but I can only do a, a fifteen-minute video on this, so I'll try to move along as fast as I could. I do have wireless capability for the first time, but you know what? I'm just gonna skip that, and I'll just go into. Okay, here's the taskbar. It's on the left side. Very interesting. I go to settings and I'll go to PC info in a second I don't read in Arabic but all right a thousand years now the freaking okay I thought the wireless was coming up all right this is PC settings I guess in Arabic this right here Like the Windows 8 in English, you, you learn to measure how many spaces apart each you know, word or symbol or icon or anything like that just to get around an operating system that's in another language. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay. I hope this is the right one. I hope this is PC, PC setting. I mean, PC info. Yep, PC info. Now the freaking wireless comes up. Okay. Now, see the buttons are on the uh, opposite side right here. Now my freaking mouse just froze up. I don't know why is that. There we go. It's a little batty. There you go. Windows 8 Pro, Microsoft Corporation, everything's a re mirrored image. I'm only using two and a half gigs of RAM on this desktop. It's an ancient ass desktop. So, to speed along, I'll X out of here. Like I said, it's not activated. Now back to the desktop. going to take five fucking minutes to go into the wireless and forget it. I'll just go to the start right here. Oh, there we go. I'll connect to my network. And any day now. Yeah, into the, into the password or passphrase. Linux is Unix for PC. No, it's being a budge rick right now. 
Well, okay then. I'll go to the start. I'll go to, here's your tiles. They don't have all the tiles because this is under a license with Microsoft that allowed me to do this in the first place. I go to the start over here and I'll just lock the screen to show you the back that the lock screen is backwards. Shutting it down is a pain in the backside because I don't read freaky deaky Arabic, you know. Make you nuts after a while. Thousand years. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hold it in for a couple of seconds. See what happens. One of these got to lead to the lock screen. It's more of a novelty, basically. There we go. It's going to the not. I mean, to the lock screen. Just gotta wait a few seconds. It's always run slow. Remember, remember seeing on the internet. A live Windows 7. There was, there was a person out there had his own web, website called Immortalis. It's, it's kind of like that, but I figured out the exact tools how to do it on my own, but with the latest thing. Here you go, here's the lock screen, but a mirrored reflection of Windows 8. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time.